you just grab someone from the street and then you say, hey, what is good press? All right, and then what is the most likeliest answer that you're gonna get from the person, from the someone, from the street? So most of the people, they're gonna say, oh, WordPress, that is the, the thing that you use to block, right? Yeah, you use WordPress to do block. That's the most common answer that you get. That's what WordPress is most famous for. And yeah, if you, if you get more people, you get, get ask more people about, hey, what is WordPress? People are gonna tell you like, oh, I use WordPress to power my company website. And yeah, in my company website, I, I use it to, to put in my marketing contents, like SEO and things. And some people will say, oh, I use WordPress and I'm going to install things like WooCommerce and make it into my e-commerce e -commerce online store. And I use, I use it to sell stuff like t-shirt or homemade cookies and things. Some people use it, okay, WordPress, put in a plugin, um, like WooCommerce bookings, then you can, you, can do, um, you can use the website and allow people to do booking for your service, like let's say yoga, you provide yoga service. And things like, you install a plugin, you do like a learning management system. You, um, you provide, you, you are like a teacher, you, you teach people, you, you provide courses online. People, people access your online courses via your website. But then if you think about it, right, all these use cases, all these are public external facing websites, right? And so these are the common, very common use case. How do people use WordPress? Now, the, the thing I'm gonna talk about today is that how about internal facing websites? So let's say things like you are running a company, you are running a business, whether it's a small business, uh, a team of uh, marketing agency, you have, marketing agency, you have 10 people, or a big company, right? And you think about, hey, um, I want to have, have an intranet, right? Intranet, um, put in information and uh, project things. Uh, so I want to have an intranet for my own company. And when people think about intranet, now I'm from Malaysia, I, I don't know about the uh, landscape in Hong Kong. So, but in Malaysia, when we talk about intranet, we think of all these big names, right? You think about, oh, Oracle or Microsoft. Microsoft think we talk about Microsoft SharePoint server. And think you have, you think about, you think about um, intranet system like SAP. But, so these things, they are famous, and they're also famous for being not cheap, they're expensive. And uh, so, today, I'm here to tell you to share experience where, how, how you can build an intranet with WordPress. And so, this is the title of my talk today, my learning talk, um, Running a Remote Distributed Company Powered by WordPress. Um, my name is Gan, I'm a senior software engineer, I work with Automatic. So, a little bit of, a little bit of background about Automatic. Automatic is a fully remote distributed company. Um, yeah, we have about 200,000 automaticians work from around the world. And we, we have our own uh, unique intranet system. And our intranet is, it consists of more than 1,000 WordPress sites running a custom theme, which we call P2, running on WordPress.com. And, uh, uh, and WordPress.com is actually the world's largest multi-site network. So, how do we do it? All right. <coughs> oh yeah, Automatics Intranet, more than 1,000 WordPress B2B sites. Okay, it's a little bit duplicated, okay. WordPress.com is the world's largest multi-press multi-site network. And this is actually a, a public product page. So um, you, can, you can actually get more info from our website here, wordpress.com slash p2. And this is the system, well this is the, um, uh, what this is the system that powers how, how we work within the company. Right, and then you have this a little bit of snapshot over here, and then we also have a demo website if you want to access it to see how it kind of works within our company. So this is automatic p two that dot automatic p two demo dot wordpress dot com, and this is kind of like a, the the main page. So we have all these posts over here, and yeah, so you can go to this website and take a take a quick quick look, quick example, and. So over here, this is like a, imagine, if, imagine this is something like an inbox. If you open up your email or Gmail or something, it looks very similar to it, right? And uh, so this is like a list of emails, and then if you click onto it, like let's say this one, it says, priority one, launch new version of P2, and team directory. So if you click onto it, this is the contents of your post. And then you can put, you have header, key updates, design updates, you can put in a screenshot, you can put it in embeds like YouTube video or Twitter feed and things like that. And this is another example, this is kind of like a use case or, yeah, a use case example. How News UK, how News UK built this intranet with P2. And uh, yeah, this, 
this something in our website over here, p2guides.wordpress.com, how organizations use P2. So we have this, um, this kind of real world scenario, real world usage example. A real company using P2 to build its own intranet. So, and this is how we actually, uh, within Automatic, how we use P2. We use this uh, custom WordPress site to do, to basically powers our whole entire uh, company operation. And every, every time we have a company news, we have an important announcement we want to make. We make a post on our website, and all the employees, all the automaticians, we all know about it. We all have access to it. And uh, things you want, you want to do things like a HR, uh, HR things, posting one, posting in our P2, you have a legal, we have a legal, we have a de dedicated P2 site about legal stuff. You have a, yeah, legal issues you can post there, and then the lawyers will come in and uh, help, help, help you with it. Finance things, all about all things about money. So yeah, finance, employee handbook, leave application. Yeah, someone wants to take a leave, want to be away for work. Yeah, you can make a post in there and then uh, everyone will be informed that you'll be away. And you have like company partnerships. So uh, partnerships with Google, partnerships with Facebook. You make a post, everyone will know about it. You can put in your contracts, partnership contracts. Security incidents. Yeah, so some, someone, earlier, someone earlier mentioned just now, uh, we have all those plugins. Uh, sometimes we have all those plugins, we have a security incidents. And this is the place where you can post about it. Oh, how do you want to um, respond to it? What are the public communications? You, you, how, how do you want to do the public communication? You do all the discussion in this P2 and everyone is aware of that. Team website. We have many teams and each team has their, has their own dedicated uh, P2 sites. And then that's where the discussion happens. Like, how is your uh, weekly progress? Think what, how, uh, the things happening in the week. Yeah, post your status, date, uh, status update. Project management. You have a project. We have a. You have. You can have a dedicated project management site, and you post update about a project, the risk in the project, SWOT analysis, and things. Knowledge sharing, a hobby and special interest group. You have um, any kind of. Uh, let's say you are interested in photography. You have. You can have a photography dedicated site, and many more. So if you are, if you think of something you want to do a P2 site, you can spin out a P2 site, and then anyone can participate in it. So that is the how, and then next, I'm gonna talk about why. Like, why do we do this? Why, why do we wanna go through the hassle of doing all this thing? So here are the benefits. So when you run a company, uh, people, people often, always, often say that, when you're running a company, what is your biggest asset? Your biggest asset is actually the people in the company, the employee. And by, doing, by having something like this, in, this uh, in automatic, by having something like this, we encourage open, honest, and transparent communication. Because every, when, so all these sites just now that I mentioned, like all these security incidents, or finance, or legal, or HR, and everything, it's um, every, everyone within the company we are able to access it, so we always know what is happening within the company. And by doing that, yeah, you are encouraging open, honest, transparent communication. And once you have this, you will have you will build trust within the company because the employee trusts the company. The company will put trust in the employee. It's a two-way relationship, and when you have that, um, a strong trust in the company, you are building a culture, a very unique company culture. And uh, with all this, and this this relates to the culture that I mentioned. Now this, uh, what we have this, what we call the automatic creep what we believe in, um, yeah, uh, what we believe in, the automatic creep, automatic culture. And you can see that over here, one of the things that we always believe in is that I will communicate as much as possible because it's the oxygen of a distributed company. Because running a distributed, is running a remote distributed, distributed company, it's not easy. Because like I say, oh, you're not in Hong Kong, and then you, you, you could have a teammate in Argentina, in Brazil, in Spain, like what I have in my team. And uh, so to come across that kind of time zone issue, the yeah the time time issue, uh, you need to communicate as much as possible, and that is how we do it with our custom P two team WordPress website. And once you have that, the things that I mentioned just now, open, honest, transparent, transparent communication, you have the uh, trust, you build a lot of culture, and eventually, if you think about it, would you like to work in this kind of company? And that's actually what, what we have achieved. Like, um, Automatic is ranked at number 20 in the global most loved workplace list. And this is the, the URL, the source of it, newsweek.com rankings, global most loved workplace. If you Google search 
uh, most loveful place we are part of the ranking and if you look into the detail over here why people love booking at automatic we have the, the reason is here and um, if you go into the detail some of the points that is repeated uh, repeated again and again we always see people talk about so over here we track about 70 percent of our projects on p2 team wordpress blogs 25 percent in private chat rooms and the rest on slack so you can see 70% of our communication is on our WordPress websites. Then this, this is the first point, systemic. It, it, it enables, it allows systemic collaboration in a distributed company where everyone works from anywhere, everywhere. And then point number two, this one is company practices love. And then somewhere, somewhere here, and where is it? Yeah, we cut over here. We encourage a culture of constant feedback and transparent communication via our P2 messaging public publishing software. Now because, so in a way if you think about it, because of this system that we have in, in the company and uh, we are able to build the company into a work, uh, most loved workplace by the employee. And so just now the things that I mentioned just now, it, those are the people aspect, right? The greatest asset in, in a company. And then next you're gonna ask like, okay, so what if, if I have all these people who love my company, but in the end, for, for a company, the most important, the, um, a very important thing in the company is the, in the end is the bottom line, right? It's still gonna, a company gonna make money. So how does having all this uh, bring benefit to my business? And this is, this is the part I'm gonna talk about next, um, the impact on your business. Because all important communications happen in P2, uh, the, if the effect of it is that because we communicate via all these P2 posts, everything is public and open, we don't use emails in the company to communicate all these, all these uh, project decisions, all these things. We don't use emails, we don't use things like uh, WhatsApp messages. I mean, WhatsApp messages is, is becoming very common, especially since the COVID pandemic, right? Sometimes, oh, you might be communicating, with, let's say I have, a, I have my, some of my friends working in some local companies, They'll be like communicating with their boss via WhatsApp, and then all those, um, the, all those uh, business decisions could be communicated in WhatsApp. But then the problem with those things, like emails or WhatsApp, they are creating information silo. And what it means that it, those information silo can, it can be costly because the thing is, what if let's say one day this employee leave the company, and then the next day the boss leave, the manager leave the company, and then after that you as a business owner. You won't, you won't be, you won't be able to access. Hey, why did we make that decision, right? Like last year, why did we make this decision to to this product? We don't know because the, the information is lost in the email, in the WhatsApp messages, and then those WhatsApp messages are in the are in the device of that manager and the employee who now left the company. We don't know what happened. But then, if if we are documenting all these things in a in a system, in a system like a in P two or any kind of system you use. Uh, so you don't you you eliminate the information barrier, and uh, that is very helpful for your business in the long run because you are always able to trace back and then find out hey why did we make the decision that last time that year three years ago five years ago, so every decisions are documented and traceable, and then because of that you are able to make better informed future decisions based on past decisions, and uh, this is the experience that I have also my personal experience I'm a I'm an engineer, right? So sometimes I look into the piece of code, like I said, my, my plug-in code, and I see that, hey, this thing, this code, it doesn't make sense. Why, why is it being done this way? But when I trace back into the code, I can, I can look into the code history, and then from the code history, I, I'm, I'm able to go back to, there's a link where I can trace back into why we made a decision many years ago. That was like 2015, 2017. And then there's a post for it where I can, where I can see Oh, they, the reason why they why they make that decision is because of this reason, that circumstances, that kind of situation. And from there, I can judge whether, hey, um, should I change this or should I not change this? Because it's from my technical development point of view. But um, yeah, the thing is, with all these things being documented, we are able to do better decisions. Okay, this is the last part of my presentation. And who? Um, who can who can use this who can use this thing uh, this kind of a system or can I use this? The way I would like to, to say it is that uh, you can use WordPress to democratize internet. 
intranet, just like how WordPress democratized publishing, you can use this democratized intranet. You can use this for small business, you can use this for large business. Um, yeah, because for small business, it's easy. I mean, WordPress is not expensive. And for large business, it's, it's how we use it in automatic. So we have two, we have two, 2,000 people, and then we are able to use it, and this is how you can, you can do this also. And lastly, I think this is especially useful for a developer agency. So if you're run, running a WordPress development agency, it's particularly useful because you are able to do your own workflow. I mean, it's because it's, you are able to customize it to your need, to your developer agency need. And from there, you are dog fooding um, WordPress, you are able to contribute to WordPress, you are, le you are learning from WordPress, and that's how you, uh, you can sharpen your WordPress knowledge and technical skills and things. So that's all from me. Uh, my name is Gan, I'm from Automatic. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of compression. You can take some time after this, like,